you're looking to buy a new esky, you'll be spoiled for choice. But which ones will stay cool for hours under the harsh summer sun? We put them to the test. It's the season of Barbies and beach trips. And as the country heats up, you need the right equipment to keep your drinks ice cold. As we take a look at the range of Eskies, coolers or chilli bins on the market, we're also going to road test two of the more affordable products right here in a typical Aussie backyard. You might have watched RBT. Well, tonight at Current Affair presents R.E.T. Our random Esky test. Here's the rules. Two randomly selected Eskies head to head. Number one, the Kmart 55 litre cooler on wheels, costing $65. Number two, the Willow brand 55 litre journey model, available at Spotlight and camping stores for an average of $85. We fill them both with ice and beers and leave them in the sun for the afternoon. The one that keeps the coolest come dusk is declared the winner. While we wait for the temperature to rise, we hit the shops, where there seems to be endless esky options. At Bunnings, it's fair to say icebox sales are running hot. Summertime, we just can't keep them. They're the most popular item we have. Claire Walters is the lifestyle coordinator at the hardware giant and shows us the full range, beginning with the 70s-inspired 26-litre retro cooler for $89. It's 24 to 48 hours ice retention, and the best thing about this is, one, one the look, and also we have a little uh, bottle opener here. Right up to the Rolls-Royce, the 120-litre Esky brand Arctic Pro. That one goes for almost 300 bucks. Some of the benefits that you will be getting from there is seven days, it will hold your ice for seven days. Like, you could put anything in there for fishing and camping, that kind of thing. It's the best thing um, if you don't have a fridge where you are. Back in the burbs, our eskies have been on for two hours. Three hours to go. We'll check back in here later. While it's become the catch-all name for cooler boxes, Esky is actually a brand. Founded in Sydney in the 1950s, the name a shortening of the word Eskimo. Dan, Ferg and Phil are close mates. The trio noticed a lack of fatherhood platforms online a few years back and founded the dadwebsite.com over a few beers at their local pub. And now today it's a storytelling platform uh, for parents all over the world. These three know their way around an esky and each has brought his favourite. For Ferg, it's a portable model. The little one will hold enough for a good afternoon. Mm -hmm. It is called the Zipperless and does have a zipper, so that confuses me a little bit. But apart from that, fits on your shoulder, does the job. According to the boys, there's a clear esky etiquette and three major esky crimes. Number one, never sit on the esky. It delays others from reloading. Number two, don't leave the esky lid open. And number three, whatever you do, don't let sand inside the tub. And Ferg, there's a debate that's been going on since the dawn of Eskies. Tell us about that. To drain or not to drain? That is the question. <laughs> okay. When the ice melts, do you leave the water in the Esky or do you empty it out? You've got to drain it. You've got to drain the water. Really? Oh, keep the ice in. Yes, no, you go. you got to do that. Easy. After a quick drink... Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. We leave the gang as the sun is starting to set and it's time to declare a winner. OK. Both our eskies have now been in the sun for five hours. That's a good afternoon by anyone's measure. We've got our thermometer, and there can only be one. Coldest temperature inside the esky wins. Let's start with the Kmart option. After five hours in the sun, the cheaper Kmart esky has officially kept things at one degree Celsius inside. Now for its competitor, the Willow brand model, who, under the same conditions, in the same backyard, has recorded two degrees under the lid. Two degrees it is. There you have it. A clear winner. The Kmart option comes out on top 
in the random esky test. But it is summer, so really, we're all winners.